start fishing. They go back to what they were doing before this Jesus interruption. And then, what happens? How many fish do they catch? Zero. And then this stranger shows up on the shore and uh, says, Hey, children, you, you haven't caught any fish, have you? No. And this stranger says, Cast your net on the other side. Interesting instructions, wouldn't you say? If you're a fisherman and someone says, well, just cast on the other side of the boat. It's the same water. But they do it. Okay, turkey, this one's for you. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy fish. And they can't even pull them all in. And then one of the disciples recognizes Jesus from far away, from like me to the corner out there. Wait a minute, it's, that's Jesus. Interesting, they don't recognize him at first. Kind of like us. They don't recognize him. Oh, that's the Lord. And Peter, what does he do? He was fishing in the noon, and all of a sudden, woo! Remember last week's sermon about hiding. First thing he does is get dressed to jump in the water. And he swims to the shore. Now, on first read, it's almost like that scene from Forrest Gump. You ever seen that movie, Forrest Gump? When he's fishing and Lieutenant Dan shows up at the dock and he's so excited, what does he do? He jumps off the shrimp boat, dives into the water and swims up to Lieutenant Dan. In the next scene you see the shrimp boat just crashing into the dock without someone at the helm. What's going on with Jesus inside, locked away with the high priest? And people come to him in the courtyard and it says there's a, there's a fire there, like a charcoal fire. And, and people come up to him and say, uh, hey, you were with this guy, Jesus. Uh-uh, not me. You were with him, someone says. No. And then a third time. And then something clicks with him probably because Jesus had said, you know what? You're talking big, but before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. Three times. You'll say you don't even know me.